took an online drawing course for 30 days for 15 minutes each day. If you'd like to see how I improved, watch till the end. So for the first day, I had to draw an eye. This is so that I'll get a gauge of how developed my drawing skills are prior to taking this course. I will draw this same eye at the end of the drawing course, so watch till the end to see how it turned out after 30 days. I was honestly surprised at how well it turned out. I expected it to turn out much worse than this, as this is my first time properly trying to draw an eye, so it was not too bad for a first attempt. Now on to day 2. I learned about contour lines and cross contour lines. Although my drawing skills aren't that bad, I've never had a proper art education so this was really new to me. And I also just want to add that I'm really sorry if this voice recording is very awkward because I'm wearing braces and this is my first time voice recording a video. Now on to day 3. I learned about geometric shapes and how to draw a landscape from such shapes. Prior to this course, whenever I draw or paint, I usually have a reference photo and then I'll try to replicate it the best I can. From there on, after I got comfortable with doing so, I would try to come up with my own paintings and drawings. And this is how it looks. Now on to day 4, I learned how to draw a character with geometric shapes. This was one of my first times properly attempting to draw a human, and as you can tell, the drawing looks pretty awkward, but I guess that's why I'm taking this drawing course for. Moving on, I learned how to draw geometric shapes in 3D form using light and shadow. I learned things like highlight, midtones, and core shadows, and these terms were all new to me, so you can see how helpful my art education school was. But I think it's never too late to try and learn new things, so I was really glad that this course helped me so much. Day 6 was a continuation of Day 5. Here I learned the advanced form of light and shadow, and focused more on spheres and curved objects, and how to use shadows to make them look like so. This was interesting for me to learn about, as it really shows me how to utilize shadows to create the illusion of a curve. Now moving on to Day 7. I learned geometric forms in a face, like in the nose, the eyes, and the overall face shape. This was helpful for me personally, as it really broke the face down into simpler shapes, which makes drawing faces much less daunting for me. And hopefully, I'll be more inclined towards drawing faces in the future. And as you can tell, the first few days are really more slow moving, and it's more of me just trying to learn the basics of drawing, but I promise you that it gets more interesting from here on. Moving on to day 8, I drew a landscape out of geometric forms, and even though this looks really similar to the landscape I drew back in day 3, the difference is that I'm using shadows here to make it look more 3D. On day 9, I drew still life, although it was actually me just copying the photo that the course provided. And through this still life practice, I learned to use contrast to make my drawings more realistic, and I really enjoyed day 9 as it was more drawing heavy and becoming slightly more advanced. And as you can tell, I couldn't really draw shadows very well yet. My blending wasn't very good, and I feel like I could have increased the contrast for this particular still life drawing to make it look more realistic.
in doubt. And this is a close up version of it just because I'm really proud of how it turned out. <laughs> now on day 18, I'm just learning how to draw architecture still life. So basically, the course gave a photo and I was just supposed to replicate it as closely as I could. It's not so much about the details, but just really trying to put down whatever I saw on the, from the photo. I must say though that even though there wasn't much detail, this was super tedious to draw. I'm not gonna lie, I spent less than 15 minutes on day 19. It was just learning concepts. So yeah, that's all. Now on day 20, I learned how to draw different types of textures. So I learned how to draw the texture of rocks, of fur, and also a brick texture as well. And as you can tell, I'm really not good at drawing fur. I think it looks like a hairy monster and it's just so gross. But anyway, moving on to the brick texture. It was actually pretty difficult to make it look like a proper legit brick wall. So this is how it looks like, but I guess with practice it will get better. Now on today 21 of this drawing challenge, only one third left to go and I'm learning how to draw wood here and it was super interesting and cool to draw this because I didn't think that this would require so much small and intricate details and also I'm learning how to draw a reflective object so that was really cool how shadows can give the illusion of reflection. Lastly, I'm drawing a sphere that is reflecting the surroundings that it is in and I'm learning how to draw those surroundings in perspective using grid lines. However, I forgot to take a photo of it, so... <laughs> Day 22 onwards, I'm learning how to draw the human face and body and first I'm starting off with the human face and as you can tell, I'm really bad at drawing human faces it doesn't even look realistic and I really didn't like how this turned out at all but I was just hoping that I would improve from here on. For day 23, I learned how to draw different types of eyes and this was different from the lesson that I took back in day 1. These are just different shapes of eyes and different expressions and also I'm learning how to draw noses from different views. So mainly the frontal view, the side view and from the 45 degree angle. And on day 24, I'm learning how to draw lips. I really enjoyed this uh, particular day as well because I've never really known how to draw lips. I always used to just draw them really simply and it wasn't really nice, so learning this was really super helpful and I enjoyed it so so much. And on day 25, I'm learning how to draw the year as well. And just like the lips, my ears used to just be upside down X. So this was really a big improvement from what I used to draw. And now moving on to one of my favourite days of this course. And I know that I've said that a lot throughout this video, but it is true. I really have been wanting to learn how to draw hair for the longest time. I could never understand how to draw hair realistically. And even now, you could see that I was struggling a lot with the highlights and the shadows of the hair. Even though there's so much room for improvement though, I was so glad to still be able to learn even just the basics of drawing hair from this course. Now moving on to day 27, I'm learning how to draw the human body. And I'm actually just copying this body form from a photograph. I must say though that it turned out not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. So yeah, I think it was a pretty decent try. And on day 28, I'm just learning how to draw the human form in geometric shapes. And these guys turn out so cute, they remind me of the little mannequins that Ikea used to sell. And on to the second last day of the 30 day drawing challenge. 
Over here, I'm learning how to draw animation characters, and as you can tell, there is already so much improvement from the first time I tried to draw the human face. I just want to add that if you guys are still watching this video, thank you so much for your support and it really means so much to me. The different eyes on the right side of the page are just possible eyes that I could draw for my animation characters. And now on to the last day of the 30 day drawing challenge. I'm drawing the same eye as I did on day 1 and I'm also following the same video as the one that I watched on day 1. I was actually quite worried that there wouldn't be any significant improvements from the eye that I drew on day 1 as compared to the eye that I'm drawing right now. But regardless, I really have to say that this drawing course has helped me so much. I learned so many concepts that I wouldn't have otherwise known about and I think that my drawing has really matured in different ways. Knowing that I wanted to make a video on this as well helped me to really stick to it and make sure that I finished the course. And I know that this process looks much slower but that is because I slowed down the video so that you guys could see how I drew this eye. Just adding a little disclaimer here that I put in my best effort for my day 1 eye as well as my day 30 eye so that the comparisons of those two eyes will be true and accurate. And this is how it looks. And this is a side by side comparison of my day 1 and my day 30 eye. I was actually really impressed by how much of a difference that actually was because I really wasn't expecting to see a noticeable difference at all. As you can tell, my day 1 eye had significantly less contrast and this really drives the point through that the better the contrast, the better the drawing. And also I think my form really improved as well. Furthermore, I think that the blending of my shadows looks so much better as compared to my day one eye. So yes, that's all for this 30 day drawing challenge. I really hope you liked this video and if you do, do like and subscribe. Bye!